Today, I'm giving you an update on my electronic music studio. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Kevin Lankner. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. So the channel recently hit 12,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. I can't believe how fast it's growing. In fact, we're already at uh, 12,150 something, I think, which is just crazy. Uh, I had no idea that the channel would start growing this quickly and I can't wait to see, you know, how far we can uh, make it this year. So again, a huge thank you to all of you. Today, I want to give you an update on my studio. Studio. So at the end of last year, my girlfriend and I moved into this two-bedroom apartment from our little one-bedroom apartment that we used to be in, and I got my own studio room, and I've been slowly upgrading it over the past couple months, and uh, well, it's time for a new update. So if you've been keeping up with the update videos, then you probably realize that this is the cleanest the studio has ever been. I've made a couple changes that have made it actually very easy to keep clean. And uh, yeah, I'll show you those right now. So first of all, I actually went through and cleaned out and organized the closet. I know it doesn't super look like it, but it's just because those blackout curtains are ugly and I need to get a hanger for the jacket that I usually wear when I film. But aside from that, yeah, the closet is pretty organized, which gave me a lot more space to work out here in the main room. Of course, I have the electric uh, drum kit over here, my Roland TD-17, and uh, yep, it uh, does its job quite well. I can practice at home. I don't really turn the module on that much, actually. I just practice, you know, actually just playing the pads. I've got this little kick pedal down here, uh, that doesn't make really any noise at all and it doesn't bug the neighbors. It's great. Uh, it's not the best, you know, for replicating playing an actual bass drum pedal, but it gets the job done. In the center of the room we have the main filming desk. This is the view that you all typically see when, uh, you know, you're watching a normal Freebeat video. I've got my overhead rig right here, which is actually a drum stand with my camera mount. Uh, which is part of a tripod on it there and uh, my main camera here the Lumix something or other just slots in and then we're good to go one of the biggest upgrades uh, That I've done to the studio which admittedly took me way too long to do because it was so easy Was put these little cable clips here on the desk they just stick on and uh, they have three spots for cables on those two and then two spots on those uh, so while this down here isn't as organized as it could be this is These are the power adapters for every single one of my pieces of gear that I use in the videos So when it's time to film I just take the cable out plug it in and then we're good to go really simple really easy This top one up here is actually a splitter this is an eighth inch uh, cable here, and it goes to two mono cables, and that runs into my Zoom Live Track L12 mixer over here. So that's actually what I use for my uh, eighth inch inputs. And then when I need a quarter inch input or a pair, I have those dangling right there. Camera might not focus because I'm also holding the mic right now. But yeah, I've got those right there ready to rock and roll. So plugging gear in is really easy. If I need extra quarter inch cables, which does happen from time to time, I have a pair there. The drum kit also has a pair on there if I ever want to actually plug the module into the zoom and record that. It's super easy. I've got this three tier shelf here that used to be in our living room, but uh, we replaced those when we moved. So now it lives in here and it's Nice storage for pocket operators and just random things. So I got the OP-1 on there, uh, Monotron Delay, a couple POs, NTS-1, some POs on the top shelf. And down below, uh, out of the view of the face cam, when I use it, I've got some old hard drives and stuff like that. And that brings us to the biggest upgrade since the last time I filmed a studio update, the computer setup and the desk. So you'll recognize this is the same 
tabletop here for the desk, but the frame is very different. This is a standing desk frame that I actually picked up on Amazon for uh, relatively cheaply. I think it was 180 US dollars. And it is a sit-stand motorized desk frame. And all I did was build it and then bolt the old tabletop to it. Uh, and so far, it has worked really, really well. So right here on the end, this is where I store the deluge and the deluge manual. That's because most of the time when I use the deluge, I'm actually out in the living room. So that's where the deluge lives right now. But uh, over here, I finally have a permanent setup for my Arturia Keylab Essential 61. Again, shout out to Arturia for sending this over a couple months ago. I'm working on my full review right now. Uh, spoilers, it's looking pretty solid. Uh, but yeah, very, very thrilled to be able to have this set up full time. Over here, I've got my Novation Launch Control XL, which is my main um, like mixer and pan and sends control for Ableton that I use uh, when I do work in Ableton which that's typically what I use the uh, Arturia Keylab for as well. And you'll also notice down here I have my Novation Launchpad Mini Mark III, which I also use primarily with Ableton, unless we're doing Freebeat Live shows. And then this is our uh, lighting controller for the DMX rig, which I'll probably cover that more in depth uh, once we announce the Freebeat Live show for this year, which... Uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing one of those, so get excited for that. I don't have a wireless keyboard yet, it's just this old really nasty HP one that I've had for probably 15 years. I need to get rid of it, but uh, I've just been lazy, honestly, and the Keylab sits high enough off the table that I can uh, run the cable for the keyboard under it. Got the mouse pad with the alligator playing the drums and the mouse. Then the stuffed alligator right there, and of course the monitor is on a monitor stand just built into the desk. Underneath it's not that pretty, but I've got this little uh, custom PC stand that I, <laughs> I actually just salvaged from the bottom of Lady Freebeat's old broken dresser, uh, which works pretty well. I've got a USB foot switch down there, which I haven't assigned to anything yet, and then I have a sustain pedal for the piano. So this is sitting position, let me go ahead and show you standing position. There we go. So that is uh, the desk in standing position. I am absolutely loving this setup. Um, would you like to see more videos uh, in Ableton? Maybe exploring some different, uh, you know, concepts that I don't normally talk about here on the channel. Uh, let me know in a comment down below and who knows, maybe I will make some of them. Also, you may recall earlier in the year, I said one of my goals was to use the Behringer Model D more. I think what I'm gonna do is actually permanently plug it in to my Zoom Live Track and put the Model D over here uh, and run it via USB into the computer down there and uh, have the Model D as a permanently available analog synth. Feel like that might, uh, you know, actually inspire me to start using it rather than just letting it sit there collecting dust, which I do feel, uh, you know, pretty guilty about. I need to use it way more. Oh, and I've got my Ibanez micro bass right there, as well as a folding chair. Uh, if I have any guests in here that, uh, you know, are recording with me or just uh, jamming. Also not sure if I mentioned it, but this is my microphone. Uh, that I use for the videos. It's an Audio-Technica AT2035, I think, and uh, it just plugs right into the live track mixer there when it's time to record. There we go. Now I'm at the recording desk and the microphone's right there. It extends out if I need it to be longer. And uh, also real quick, to those of you who were worried, uh, the microphone is on channel eight right there, which does have phantom power turned on, but phantom power only applies to channels five through eight. It doesn't actually affect uh, my quarter inch stereo pair or the eighth inch stereo pair right there. Uh, they are completely independent of that phantom power. And if I need to plug anything in that doesn't need phantom power, I still have inputs one through four for that. So no 
worries there. I appreciate the concern, though. So there you have it. There is the Freebeat Studio as of March 8th, 2022. I do hope you found this video entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, of course, you know where that dislike button is. That's okay. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.